When I first met T.S. Wiley, my first impression was that she was very brusque. And I was a little taken aback by it. And I thought, well, you know, she's not super nice to me. She's not being very gentle and kind. And, you know, as I listened to her speak, I mean, she wasn't impolite, but she was brusque. She was more aggressive, you know, a much more take charge kind of individual than I expected. But then as I heard her speak, as I heard her expertise on the subject, I realized, well, of course, she, number one, functions in a world where she is, number one, she's very high functioning, she's brilliant. Also, she functions in a world where she is having to defend her position on a daily basis. And uh, secondly, she's de working in a male-dominated medical society that is very adverse to any form of change, especially a change that, um, that involves money. And so, I realized that in the field of bioidentical hormones, there's not a lot of money to be made because a pharmaceutical company can't come in and patent it and say, okay, now you're going to pay 200% over cost because we own the patent on the, this drug. That gave me some insight and some awareness into what kind of an individual she was. Also, to know that she has spent untold hours and over 20 years truly studying and investigating the concepts that are involved in this kind of, of protocol. There is, I don't think there's a single doctor that could say, I have spent this many hours or this many years studying this particular phenomenon. She has devoted her, her, all of her time to it. And I find that amazing that someone would not be able to recognize that. It's, it's very similar to an, an, a researcher in a lab who has done all of the work for cancer research and then you would turn, you would turn to them and say, oh, but you know, you've never, been, um, you've never treated a cancer patient. No, you've been doing the research on the cancer patient all those years and you, 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 you can't possibly discount all of the, the work this researcher has done. Well, that's exactly what T.S. Wiley is. She's been a dedicated researcher all of this time in this field to discount all of what she says and all of what she studied would really be foolish. There is no, I like to say, there's no monopoly on better ideas. And especially when it comes to the medical community. If anything, the medical community would be open and excited about these kinds of concepts. And if one closes one's mind to it, there has to be an ulterior motive and it's usually because they want to sell you something.